Now, all fat is good until there's too much of it. But white fat is the kind that's under our skin, under our jowls, on, on the, below our arms. It could be the muffin top. It could be in our thighs. It could be our butt. But white fat, the most dangerous kind of white fat, the stuff that you can't see in the mirror, is in fact the white fat that is stuck in the tube, the, the tube of our body. So if you've got a big tube, let's call it a big waistline, because you've got a big body type, sure, you could have a lot of white fat, okay? But if you have a thin tube, all right, you're a slender person, you can still have a lot of harmful excess white fat stuffed in there. Now, how do I have people help people understand that? Let me give, give you an even clearer picture of this. This is the kind of fat, it's called visceral fat, all right? It's white colored and it's packed inside the tube of your body. And you can pack a lot of fat inside a skinny tube. So think about it. You want to mail some fluorescent light bulbs to a friend across the country, whatever country you live in. So you're gonna to go to the post office or the FedEx store and you're gonna ask them for a shipping box. And they're gonna give you a long skinny box to put your light bulbs in. And then you're like, well, I don't want them to break, so I'm gonna order some packing. So they give you those styrofoam peanuts, terrible for the environment, but they give it to you anyway. And you're gonna pour it into the skinny box and you got a big bag of peanuts, but you got a skinny box. So now you've actually finished packing the box, but you wanna use the rest of those peanuts. So what do you do? You stuff more peanuts into that skinny box. You keep on stuffing it and stuffing it and stuffing it. Now you've used up your whole bag. That box is bursting at the seams, but you're still able to force the, um, uh, the box shut and you tape it. And when you pick it up, it's still a skinny box. That's what skinny fat is. A thin body packed with a huge amount of harmful, dangerous visceral fat. And that dangerous, harmful visceral fat in a skinny body or a big body is dangerous because it is inflammatory. It doesn't have a good enough blood supply. Inflammation is uh, roaring through it like a wildfire in a forest. And that inflammation seeps out to the rest of your body, um, causing whole body inflammation. And that inflammation uh, short circuits the signals for the hormones that your fat normally produces. So you can't, you, your brain doesn't understand, am I hungry or am I not hungry? Your insulin doesn't know, should I be absorbing glucose or not? Um, so basically that is the taking the first step off the cliff to a uh, sort of a future of being less well, less healthy, and in fact, veering right towards chronic disease. That is a consequence of skinny fat. How does a slim, slimmer person know if they're carrying the unhealthy fat? What's the kind of key takeaways here? What you're asking is, how do we know how much dangerous fat is actually packed in our tube, regardless of your body size? I'll, I'll, I'll get to the model slim physique in a second, but let's just talk broadly, all right? So visceral fat is not something you can measure by stepping on a scale. So look, this is the experience, Sarah, and that we all have, right? You take a shower in the morning, you step out of the shower, you dry off, mm -hmm. out of the corner of your eye, you're looking at your naked body, and of course, most of us eventually see a lump or a bump or a shape that, we're, that, that we don't find pleasing. So the next thing immediately that we do is step on the scale, all right? That scale, however, doesn't just measure mm -hmm. fat. It measures how much water is in our body. It measures our mm -hmm. bone. And very importantly, it measures mm -hmm. our muscle mass. Mm -hmm. And as we try to rethink what health is. Health is the right amount of body fat that you need for health. It's a good amount of muscle that you need, not only when you're a kid or when you're a young adolescent with a buff body, but also as we, if you want healthy aging, you really wanna have, keep up your good, healthy muscle mass. And bone structure is also very important because look, people wind up having, usually if they have good nutrition, pretty decent bones when they're younger. But as we get older, particularly people, women who are, especially who are susceptible to osteoporosis, their bones get lighter. So how do you actually do this? Well, it turns out that um, there is something called a DEXA scan that you can talk to a nutritionist or a wellness mm -hmm. center that they can actually give, put a scan on. And, and a DEXA scan uh, is kind of like a CT scan that you know your doctor might do to look for a serious medical problem. But what it does is it's really beautiful. It's like a DEXA scan is like a CT scan for health. It actually measures your bone, your muscle, your water, your fat, and it can tell you exactly how much visceral fat 
you actually have. So this is something, you know, unfortunately, it's not something that you can do easily in your home. Most people don't have a DEXA scan at home. But there are now devices, home devices that are being developed that allow you to stand on it and uses electrical impedance, meaning it sends a little current through your foot to actually give you a sense of how much body fat you have. And, and it gives you a rough approximation of how much visceral or skinny fat you have. Thanks so much for listening. To hear the full episode, there's a link in the description.